My name is Malik. Um, I manage the airborne uh, product uh, roadmap at uh, Teldyne uh, Optech and Teldyne Geospatial more broadly. Um, if you've uh, encountered me in the past, you know me as uh, the person that manages the development of airborne topo uh, LiDAR uh, sensors. Uh, that continues to be the case. Um, uh, I'm additionally involved in the development of airborne bathymetric sensors. And today, uh, we're actually talking uh, uh, beyond the sensor. Uh, we continue to produce leading uh, sensors for uh, data acquisition. Um, but we have also spent an enormous amount of time um, with customers. And we understand that there are issues uh, that exist uh, in the collection, but also after uh, the collection. So today, I'll be talking about industries uh, first and industries only uh, real-time processing and real-time quality control solution uh, for airborne uh, LiDAR data. Um, so um, for those of you uh, who are not familiar with us, uh, we're Teldyne Geospatial. We're a, a consolidation of, of two uh, industry uh, leaders. Uh, one is Teldyne Keras, a leader in uh, the uh, production of uh, software for hydrographic and marine uh, processing, uh, as well as uh, uh, Optech, uh, who is a leader in the production of uh, sensors, uh, LiDAR sensors largely. Uh, we operate in, in most continents, um, and we are uh, entirely passionate about uh, solutions that span uh, land and water. Um, I'll, stay, I'll start a little bit with uh, a state of where industry is. This is kind of from the perspective of clients that we have spent an enormous amount of time with in, in interviews and in, in being in, in their shops and being quite intimate with them. Uh, the, the state overall uh, is there are many sensors on the market. They're all good sensors. They all collect data. Uh, but there is a sense of flooding of data, and turnaround time is, is quite challenging. There's this famous quote from, from a Deloitte report, which is, everyone is drowning in data but starving for insight. Um, and you add to that uh, a problem of, of hiring. When we look at job postings, we find that increasingly employers are looking for anyone to do the job. You can see things like uh, if you have a high school degree, if you're willing to travel, if you can use a computer. So we understand that there's a demand for industry, but also uh, a challenge in, in finding the right kind of skill. Um, so what we did is, is, as I mentioned, we spent an enormous amount of time in interviewing uh, customers. Uh, and we understand from them that there is a need for innovative, not just hardware, not just software, but um, unified holistic solutions that do more in real time. There's a lot of dead time in the airplane that is not being utilized. Um, solutions that accelerate the workflow, not workflow in the office, not workflow in the airplane, but workflow from the airplane all the way to the office. Uh, and ultimately, solutions that instill confidence, that give customers and organizations the feeling that this data, I'm confident in it. I can move it in my pipeline, but I can also deliver it to my customer on time. So what did we do with this information? Uh, we introduced uh, Galaxy on board, which is an onboard uh, solution uh, that extends our leading airborne uh, topo sensor, the Galaxy. Um, it's an enhanced flight management system uh, that also uh, processes LiDAR data at full resolution in real time uh, without any decimation, uh, and also applies the quality control on the point cloud uh, directly in the airplane. In essence, we are uploading what we do on the ground and in the office into uh, the airplane with the overall objective of uh, instilling confidence in data, increasing the ROI for, for organizations because they can deliver projects faster, and very importantly, opening this ability to deliver to projects that require real-time data. You can think of emergencies or, or rapid response on th or, or something of that nature. Um, so how, how does it work? Uh, in the air, uh, data is being collected. That's gray. Uh, and in real time, data is being processed. Uh, we have about one second lag uh, uh, with, with most densities. And then as the data gets processed, it also gets QC'd. So by the time this airplane ends the line, data has been processed, data has been QC'd, and you on your disk have access to raw, processed, and quality controlled data. Um, so 
if, if, uh, if there's anything uh, you should walk away uh, with uh, this presentation is, is really these uh, four key points that will come up on, on the slide, which is wh why is this relevant? Why is this such a big deal? Uh, uh, and and why, why does it move the needle for organizations? Onboard reduces standby and rework cost. Onboard enables organizations to do milestone billing, uh, which we will unpack shortly. Um, it enables uh, not just organizations, but really this entire industry to truly do real-time uh, rapid uh, response uh, for applications that truly require it. Uh, many of us claim that we can do real-time, uh, but no one until onboard has been able to uh, truly deliver full resolution LiDAR data uh, directly from the airplane. Um, and then um, uh, ultimately, um, uh, onboard uh, reduces the training cost uh, because of, of the user vetted design that you will see shortly. Okay, um, so as I said earlier, in the airplane, uh, you as an operator, um, you will get an indication of where the data meets the QC requirement that you have set in the office. This is QC for things like density and QC uh, for things like gaps. Uh, you will also see where uh, the data is um, mediocre. It's, it's, it's in a worn, worn state. And you see where the data fails that QC spec. Right now, as, as many of you know, uh, the only way for you to do QC is to land the airplane and do some routine of QC on the ground, which is many, many hours and much more cost incurred, uh, and it happens after the flight. This happens in the airplane. Um, so let's walk through a quick kind of understanding of what this means financially. Uh, our moderator uh, initially said that uh, kind of we all care about the technical, but, but this, this is a session where we want to think about more implications of the data. Uh, so when we think of the cost, um, right now, you go, you fly a project, let's put a, a random number uh, of, of, of $10,000 for, for five hours of flight. Um, unfortunately, uh, you do not know the quality of the data. So you have to incur some cost in, in landing, doing some QC, uh, paying uh, hotel stays and, and, and field crews. Um, and, uh, and then you wait for the QC uh, results, and you end up finding that I'm not meeting my, my specs. Uh, at least I'm not meeting it everywhere. Uh, so what you end up doing is you have to incur the cost of reflight. You have to do this all over again, uh, and then ultimately do the QC again, because you're still not sure of the quality of the data. And only when it passes can you, can you proceed. This overall kind of uh, five hours of, of flight can cost $30,000 uh, between collection uh, and, and QC and, and cost on the ground. With onboard, it's a much simpler uh, situation. Everything is, is zeroed out because uh, the QC happens uh, uh, in the airplane. And if you do need to refly data, you refly right away. You tap the line that is red, then you refly that line. Uh, so your cost is reduced quite substantially. Um, and and um, we continue to uh, support customers on reducing their cost uh, by up to 60%. Another thing that I mentioned is, is milestone billing. This is something that Galaxy on board, because it produces incremental QC reports every single flight, can give you the ability to respond to customers that say, uh, we need a report every flight or every two flights, uh, and we will pay accordingly. Uh, so this is, this is something that you will get straight off the plane that will help uh, your, your operation. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, Galaxy on board is, is the first and the only system on the market that pro, uh, produces real-time data uh, in, in the airplane. For applications like flooding or assessing damage in electric infrastructure, uh, this is quite key. Uh, I'll show you an example uh, later about uh, key electric utilities that are utilizing uh, this solution for uh, detection of, of damage on infrastructure in real time. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, th this, this design was really fueled by, by sitting down with operators and pilots all over the world uh, and to try and understand their, their, what gives them anxiety and what gives them uh, a sense of productivity. Um, uh, so so we, we, we have uh, kind of instilled an ability to reduce training cost as a function of uh, Galaxy on board. 
Okay, um, I'll show you two or three examples of, of Galaxy on board uh, in action, and then, and then we'll wrap it up. Um, so this is an example from a customer that said, uh, hey, we flew in a mountainous area with a lot of turbulence. We had a new pilot, and the data came back. It had a whole lot of gaps. Uh, what can onboard do? Can onboard help us with this situation? Because it happens quite often. Um, so you'll see the gaps here on the side of the swath. You'll see that the, due to turbulence and the pilot the airplane was rolling up to 10, 15 degrees in some cases on, online. So we took the data and we ran it through Galaxy on board. Uh, this is what the operator would have seen. They would have seen that density and gaps uh, are being identified in real time. And they would be able to see when the pilot and, and turbulence cause a lot of, um, of deviations from the plan, whether it's roll, pitch, heading, or, or position. And you can see uh, the, the quality of the data on the screen. Uh, ultimately, we needed to know that is this is this actually finding the issues. Um, so we took we took the quality control from Galaxy on board. We identified every area that has an issue, and then we matched it with the point cloud. And and the, to to the customer's uh, satisfaction, when on board said there was a there was an issue, there was a gap, or there was a big. Uh, 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 edge, uh, edge gap uh, due to roll or clouds, et cetera. Um, similarly, um, a different customer using Galaxy on board uh, has issues uh, with, with clouds and turbulence and, and water bodies, and they're never sure, is this a gap that's real? Is it due a, a lake? Can I fix it? So they provided uh, this view, which is a density map, uh, where uh, uh, green shows areas where density is being reduced. And uh, also to their uh, satisfaction, um, with Galaxy on board, you can see exactly where the lakes are um, and uh, exactly where turbulence uh, density reductions happen. This is something that the customer takes hours, sometimes days, to produce. And with Galaxy on board, this is produced in real time and can help make decisions about uh, what is happening where. Um, last but not least, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the data is being produced at full resolution. Um, we have a um, kind of a major interest from uh, electric companies uh, who have storms going through their areas, and then they find themselves in a position of um, which uh, electric infrastructure has been damaged uh, because we need to prioritize our forces uh, there. Uh, this is data uh, from Galaxy on board. Uh, we get the real-time data. We stream it through an additional service that identifies damage. And you can see here poles that are leaning um, and are close to, to being destroyed. This helps electric utilities identify exactly where things are so that they can prioritize uh, response there. Um, right now, this is, this is a process that takes electric utilities weeks to months, depending on the, the impact and the size. Uh, with Galaxy on board, they take this down to 24-hour uh, cycles. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Galaxy on board is, is a, is a, a productivity-enhancing tool. It's a fundamental rework of workflow in, in our airborne uh, industry. Uh, it aims to reduce cost. It aims uh, to reduce uh, standby and, and reflight cost to enable organizations to do milestone billing. It, it enables a true response to uh, emergency uh, situations um, and helps people adopt airborne geospatial technology uh, with a much shorter uh, cycle of training. Uh, I'll be in Hall uh, 27. Uh, we have Galaxy on board as well as, as Galaxy, the sensor on display. Um, uh, we can we can more than happy to do demos. Please stop by. Uh, thank you very much.